Marianne's story. Throughout the video, photos are shown of Marianne, her foster child, Mackenzie, Mackenzie's mother, Brooke, and Mackenzie's grandmother, Dawn. I have been a resource parent since the late 1990s, and I've had well over 400 placements. I have always felt that working with family was the objective of doing foster care, building a bridge from one family to another. Although it was heartbreaking at times to let a child go, ultimately knowing that you helped a child and family was the greatest feeling. When I received beautiful baby girl Mackenzie, I was so anxious to talk to her family. I couldn't even imagine not knowing who had your baby. Are they treating her well? Would they want to keep her? Are they going to judge me and think I'm not a good loving parent? It took about a week before I was able to meet Brooke, Mackenzie's mother. I think it's very important for resource parents to supervise visitation whenever possible. To start building a positive rapport. The first meeting with Brooke was somewhat uncomfortable. I had her baby. I told Brooke about myself, why I do this. I would not judge her, but help and support her to get her child back. She was Mackenzie's mother. Brooke was very quiet, but there was something in her eyes. For some reason, I knew she could do this, and I told her that. She just looked at me, but didn't say anything. I didn't know if what I said had any impact on her. Knowing it would be difficult for Brooke to see the changes in Mackenzie, I explained the trauma she was going through and the importance of us working together. Eventually, Dawn, Mackenzie's grandmother, got unsupervised visits. Dawn was so respectful of me and my family, always bringing Mackenzie back on time, clean, and obviously well taken care of. We built a relationship that was honest and open. When the time came for Mackenzie to return to her family, the thankfulness and love I received from them was beautiful. When dropping Mackenzie off for the last time, I was given flowers and a beautiful thank you card from Brooke that I cherish to this day. I realize we do make a difference in the trajectory in a family's life. I'm invited to all of Mackenzie's birthday parties and have watched her grow. What a beautiful privilege. The most awesome thing to see is Brooke becoming an incredible parent. Special thanks, thanks to my family for welcoming foster children and their families into their lives. Dawn and Brooke for keeping Mackenzie in our life. San Diego Department of Health and Human Services for its trainings and for realizing the importance of reunification. Joan, Olga, and Laura for helping us share this important journey. These stories were created in a digital storytelling workshop at the County of San Diego Health and Human Services, Live Well San Diego. We would like to thank them for their support. This product was created by the Capacity Building Center for States under contract number HHSP 2332-0140-0033C. Funded by the Children's Bureau, Administration for Children and Families, U.S. Department of Health and Human Services. Logos for the Children's Bureau and the Capacity Building Center for States.